some of the tires are flat, but... Okay. in Tulum mm -hmm. and we are on bikes because it seems like everyone in this town rides bikes even the hostels the hotels they just have bikes to give you or free bike rentals so that's what we're doing we're on bikes we're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're headed to the ruins and the beach and the beach which are like neighboring they're like the ruins are like on the beach be pretty cool. it's gonna be good we were kind of worried because we had to ride bikes all the way down this highway uh, because the ruins of Tulum are literally like a five minute drive away, but it's down a highway. So luckily for us, there is a path that hopefully goes all the way. Beep beep! Riding bikes is always fun. Tulum's like the, it's like bike friendly, very bike friendly here, which is kind of cool. We have made it to the ruins. Tourists, but I bet we beat a lot of them. We have arrived at the ruins of Tulum. Today we got here super early. It opens at 8. We arrived at 8.30, the earliest we've ever arrived at anything. I guess it gets a lot busier in a couple hours, so we did arrive at a good time. We're gonna check it out. The beach is right there. We're gonna go there, here, there, here, here, here. <laughs> Look at this. Got some ruins. And you got beautiful blue water. And I hopefully we can get in it today. Well, let's go find the ocean. I think we get a good view from up here. Okay. So we were watching a video, I think it was yesterday about Tulum, you know, to get the, the feel of the city, to see what it's like. And we saw a drone shot, someone had a drone shot of this ruins. It came over the ruins and then it like the ruins spilled out onto the beach so you could like walk straight from the ruins to the beach. So that's what we're looking for. And I'm hoping to find out, hoping it's real because I would love to go in the water. I think we said that probably like six times. I'll be like this, watch. This is what I'm gonna do in the water. And it'll be a belly flop because we're not good at diving yet. No. <laughs> For some reason, I think this is cool. It's on the middle of the path, you can see trees. Like, they don't cut the trees down. They say, go nature, and tourists can walk around. Like, it would be cool to live in the forest sometimes. Like, I love animals. Like, if I could have a little tree fort with, like, squirrels and, and, and chipmunks and lizards. But I wouldn't want any bugs, though. No, no thank you to bugs, but please... Let's have some animals. I can definitely understand the purpose of that little train that we saw at the beginning because there's a lot of ground to cover here, but it looks like we're getting closer to the beach. Fel, remember when you fell in Mexico City on a bike? Yeah. That's why Fel doesn't have the camera while she rides. It's not allowed anymore. It's a windy day. 
on the beach. The water is the best we've seen it in all of Mexico. We started in Cabo, we're in Cancun-ish, we're in Tulum. Not necessarily the clearest, but the bluest water we've seen. Beautiful. Party's at. It looks like there's bars, ton of bars, volleyball nets, soccer. You can rent cabanas on the beach. This is the place to be. We're finding Tulum to be a little bit pricier than the rest of Mexico, which is not a surprise because we know that Cancun is expensive. We're getting tacos usually for about 50 or 60 pesos, and to find them on the beach for 200, well, it's a little bit more expensive here. A day at the beach in Tulum. What do you think, Phil? It's good, but really hot, and the places here are pretty expensive, so we're gonna go into town and get something to eat. We're back at the hostel. No, this time we're staying in a hotel. We splurged on a hotel which was about 300 pesos for each night. And uh, unlike a lot of the hostels we've seen online, this one has an AC unit, a TV, a nice bed. Quite the luxury place. Felicia has a line on some empanadas. We're gonna check those out, right? You're, gonna, you're getting us empanadas? Enchiladas. Enchiladas. I don't know. We're eating something. So we're not getting enchiladas, but check this out. They're making mojitos. They're making, they're squishing sugar cane by hand for your mojito. Supposed to get chilaquiles? No. <laughs> Jeez, what was it? Enchiladas. Okay. But if you remember before, incoming flashback, when I said, right? You're gonna, you're getting us empanadas? Enchiladas. Enchiladas. I don't know. It was empanadas. So turns out, at this time of the night, we go into a dark alley and we find a beautiful Argentinian empanada place. Here we are and we're gonna get some awesome empanadas. And if you don't know what those are, you will see in exactly one second. Looks good. Oh, a little hot. It's hot? <laughs> you gotta good. wait till it cools down. This place is good. These are actually really good empanadas. We ended up ordering some more and Mine is so good. I got mushroom and it has white wine and cheese. The next one I'm getting has bacon, plum, and cheese. So if you're ever in Tulum and want to try empanadas, even though they're not Mexican, they're still really good. 
We had a pretty fun day here in Tulum seeing the ruins and the beach. It's pretty obvious that it's more expensive here than other places that we've been to in Mexico. And for a budget backpacker, it, it might be a bit more challenging, but the empanadas that we found for dinner were really good, and we're excited to keep exploring. Hopefully you've subscribed to our channel, and you won't miss on our adventures planned for next time. We are going to be seeing some cenotes here, so that should be fun, and hope you'll follow us. I was raised in the Cambridge by an old mama lion. Ain't no hot tongue woman, don't make me walk the line.